back to part 51. I think it's actually the longest 3D modeling series on YouTube. So um, there's that. Um, so what we're going to do today is start creating this piece because we have the foundations for that made and why don't we just start doing something more interesting. So what we're going to do is probably just make this, although I don't think we're going to be ready to place it properly yet. But I have a screenshot of the top and side view here that we're going to use and we're also going to look many times at here and on here. So let's go into Maya over here and in my top view I'm going to change my reference to the this one right here and again these will be uploaded to Imshur and linked down below and then for the first time in forever we can change the side view to um, this piece. So we're going to start working on this. Um, so sorry if we're going to be moving a lot through this but I think we will start with we can do this with a cube. That's what we're gonna do this with. That makes the most sense. So um, if I go to the top view, I can create a cube, and I'm gonna bring this over to here. And let's see, we can move the vertices to where they will be. Although that will be kind of hard to make, but not that hard. But we'll we'll figure it out. So. I'm going to move these to their respective locations. And it also looks like there'll be a um, kind of like blob like right there kind of. Like you can kind of see how it obviously shows that it kind of ends and then just keeps going off right there. So um, yeah, we're going to need to do that. Let me see what else we have here. Um, you know, I believe that this actually has like a, I feel like this is the watch that has like a piece of the moon on it, although I'm not sure, this would be a nice watch to make. Um, it's just hard to find like, you know, proper images of it, but hey, yeah, that's not a horrible one, although that's definitely not as detailed as the one we made. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. So, yeah, let's just get started. Sorry for looking at so many images, we're just getting this piece, so go back in my top view where is it oh I'm in the wrong one <laughs> okay and I'm going to select the face that will be I think it's this one yep and in fact I can focus on this here and I'm gonna extrude this out and I'm gonna bring it just I'm just gonna let's see bring it all the way up to like here and then just take this and bring that to like there and I'm kind of confused about what that whole thing is, so look at this. looks kind of like it will be curving in of some sort. Who knows? But while we're here, let's um, move this image to where it will be, actually. Let's also just move all of these at the same time. So move that to like somewhere I can see it a bit easier. So like maybe there, and then for some reason, oh, this this needs to move like all the way over there. Okay. Um. So now this is a bit easier to move because this is not in that whole mess right there. Um. So I think we've created. Let's see. We've created the first parts. Oh, I keep going in the wrong version of Maya. Uh, where is it? here. Okay, so these pieces right here need to be basically the first parts of it, so it's kind of hard to see them. I'm going to move this to like here, here to like here, and then looks like that will be these pieces, so let's see, I can move this down to like here, and of course we're going to add some more edge loops soon. For starters, this is good. Um, and move that up to there, and this to here. So that looks very rudimentary, but you can kind of see what I'm going for here. Um, so that looks good. Let's see if we can add some edge loops now that we're here. So maybe one about here, and let's just see how this looks in the top view. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to bring that up to like here ish. And what else could we do? This definitely needs a ton, so I'm just going to add many for now and start working on 
this horrible, horrible curve. So maybe something like this. Do I pause? That's weird. Alright, sorry about that. Um, so I'm going to keep bringing these down now till it looks good. Okay, we can have another about here. That way I can help with this bottom. Mm, okay. And then some here, so like there. Just so we can get this curve, you know what I mean? Okay, Let's see. Like there looks good. Bring that down, of course. Bring that up to like there. So let's take a look at how this is looking so far. Um, that's looking fantastic, exactly how I want it to look. And now let's continue creating a bit more, because I think we've done enough here. Of course, when this is smooth, it will look a lot better. Don't worry about it. So I'm going to select that face right there and just extrude this all the way up to like the top here. Wondering what that little blob right there is. And I think that has nothing to do with anything. So, yeah, I'm going to bring this to, like, here. And, of course, we need to do that whole curve. Um, and then, let's see if I move this in. What does it look like? Okay. I'm just going to move this, although seems to be moving that way more than I want it to, and I think that's because this is working with that entire thing, and that's definitely not what I want. So I think this is going to be a little weird, although actually I believe that that won't matter because this is just going to be stuck in, which is basically probably how they created it anyways, so look, they even have it like that, so as long as this is matching like that, and it should be good. In fact, I think if this were to be moved up more to like here even, and then take this and move that to there, then it'll be even better. So let's just see how that looks um, for now. Looks all right. feel like it's supposed to be deeper though, but let's test this out, so I'm going to go to my top view and bring this to where it will be in probably the next episode we'll continue a lot more on this piece, so thank you for watching please subscribe